hello world. Settle yourselves comfortably because oh man have I got updates aplenty for you. Oh, sorry. My head is banging like a drum. I am so tired. <clears throat> so, did I tell you that my twin sisters, Sky and Summer, are having a big birthday bash on Valentine's night? Well, they were. Oh, my head. I got no sleep last night. So, they had a big 13th birthday party in the village hall. And even though Mum and everyone worked their little socks off them, it was still pretty lame. Okay, so not totally lame. It did look quite nice in there with all vintage valentine and pretty bunting, magical fairy lights, amazing food, and Shay chose the perfect music. But the highlight for me was probably, most definitely, actually the chocolates. And I needed lots of comfort eating to cope with Anthony. <sighs> Took me forever to ditch that boy. Summer was already slow dancing with Aaron Jones. Sky's friend Millie had snarled poor old Alfie. Coco was doing crazy moves with her mental mates. And then all of a sudden, Sky wasn't there. She just disappeared. I, I grabbed Alfie to ask if he'd seen her and he said, sure, she was outside getting some air. But I couldn't find her out there either. I might have said to Summer that Birthday Girl 2 had done a run a bit. I'm not too sure. All I do know is that suddenly everyone was running around like crazy looking for Sky. Summer went out there in the snow on her own, found Sky just lying in a snowdrift. And she's downstairs in bed now, ill, really ill. I can tell Mum is more scared than she's ever been in her life. I may not be Paddy's greatest fan, but at least he's keeping her calm. He keeps saying what the doctor's saying, which is have to wait for the antibiotics to work, for the fever to break. Have you ever seen someone you love in a fever? Like a proper delirious, I'm not sure who I am kind of fever? scary, totally frightening. And they tell us to wait. Well, I'm not a waiting kind of person. I'm really bad at that, especially now. And I'm, I'm afraid that she's not going to be okay. I'm afraid that... Paddy says that it takes Sky straight to the hospital if the fever doesn't break soon. And We've all been taking turns sitting in there with her. And Mum's been giving her these tablets and wiping her skin with a cool flannel. I heard her whisper to Paddy that she's really scared. And it made me more afraid than I've ever been before. Wait, I'm her big sister. I should have been there for her. I should have noticed her going off on her own instead of getting flirty with Ben Cartwright. For heaven's sake, and Josh Evans. Sky, she's so sweet and good and, to be honest, the only one out of this rotten bunch that tells me what's what. Even when I'm behaving like a sport brat. Yes, I know, I behave like a sport brat. And, but it's always Sky who makes me see sense. She has to be okay. She, she just has to. Honey, Mum? Sky needs you. It's Sky, gotta go. Bye. Mm -hmm.